<clears throat> What's up everybody, Timmy Bangers here And today I got a special video for you Another one of those bloody fish cutting up uh, mutilation videos Today we are going to be filleting a bluegill Now, this is supposed to be some fine eating there's not a lot of meat on a bluegill and yes i only have one but there's two beautiful fillets on this fish and as you can see this is almost a chunker of a bluegill i would say this is almost a chunker you could definitely lip him so we're gonna go ahead and fillet this guy now First thing you want to do, get yourself a sharp knife. Make sure it's really sharp, and you're just going to want to start by, notice the way the fish is uh, facing here. You're just going to start by a, a very shallow cut right here at the top of the head. And go punch in there. It, it'd be a lot easier if you had like a fish fillet thing that holds it like this, but I don't have it, so I'm probably gonna cut myself. But you just wanna go very carefully right there, and then you wanna come down by the gill here. Move over the uh, pectoral fin down toward the pelvic fins and stop right there. So now that's what I have this cut right here. Okay, now I'm going to turn them around this way and I'm going to go from the back here, shallow. I'm going to go from the back like this. And I'm going to follow the rib. You can hear the ribs. When the knife touches the ribs, let the ribs be your guide. You're just going to go shallow first, right alongside the dorsal fin. Try and have as much meat as you can. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and open that up a little bit more. I'm going to go a little bit deeper. And this is whenever you're going to feel those ribs. Listen, you can hear them. You hear them? Let the ribs be your guide. That's a sign that you're getting the most meat that you can. And whenever you don't feel the ribs anymore about right here, you just wanna plunge your knife all the way through, just like that. And just go right along out through the tail there. Come back around this side. And you want to come down the belly. Down toward the anal fin. Just like that. Sometimes you might need to go back up top. Again, let them ribs be your guide. And you just keep on working that fillet. And you're going to have to go through a couple little pin bone ribs there. But then once you get that off, there you go. So, now you have this. There's some, there's some, bone, there's some rib bones in here that you can just come in and take out if you do get some. No big deal. Be careful about that. Okay, now, now that you have this, now as you see, there's really not a lot of meat on this little guy, but that's okay. We're just doing this to show, because if you get a bunch of these, you can have a good fry. Now there is a couple little pin bones right in here that you can feel. You wanna make sure you get them out. 
and they're a lot easier to get out than trout trout you know it's just like forget it I'll just leave them in there's so many of them but this guy right here just take your knife like this oh my guess. So you just cut this little V here. And then I just remove them. There's where the pin buttons would have been, right where that V is. It's a little bit of fat right here. Now to skin them. All you gotta do is start at the back where the tail would be. Make a small cut there that you can get a grip with. It's very hard to do whenever your hands are slimy, but you just wanna, oh, it's not working. Of course it's not working. Okay. Now get a grip on that skin and just put your knife down kind of like at an angle, try and get as much meat as you can. And that's how you skin. Skin a bluegill. Boom. A little bite size all white meat filet of a bluegill. This is as fresh as it gets. And to show you, you know me, how much I like sushi and sashimi. Bluegill sashimi. Are you ready? You think I'll do it? Of course I'll do it. This right here is nothing but the freshest fish you'll ever get. 20 minutes ago, this fish was on my hook. Now he's in my mouth. That's good fish. So there you go, there's one little filet. Do the other side, same thing. A little cut here. Get down past the uh, pectoral fin, right down there, through the belly, back up top, shallow cut first, down along the ribs, down through the past the dorsal fin, deepen it up, fill them rib bones. The ribs be your guide. Don't over, you know, work your knife. If your knife is sharp enough, you shouldn't have to force it. Listen. That's it. That's all I'm doing. I'm not even putting any pressure. This sharp, this knife is like a razor. Right down along the ribs. Whenever you get to the end of the ribs, go ahead, puncture it through. Ah. Uh, I missed a little bit there. That's all right. It's it's like any fish, you know. It's it's tough, and I haven't really done a whole lot of bluegills, as you could probably tell. I'm just trying to show you, you know, get an idea of how you can get a fillet. So don't jump on me about, oh, you know what you're doing? You wasted so much meat. Guess what? I really didn't because I'm gonna use this for catfish bait anyway. So there you go. Now. Got that out. This right here is going to be catfish bait. This right here is going to be deep fried with some trout today. Get them pin bones out. Get him, get started.
Yeah, this one didn't really work out too good. But that's all right. That's sushimi. Put that aside and eat that later. We do got this one filet that it worked out pretty good. That's going to be, uh, put a little buttermilk on that. Put a little breading on it. Pan fry, just bite into that. That's going to be good. Mr. Bluegill, thank you for your sacrifice. And thank you guys for watching. I hope that helped. I know that really was that was the worst fillet video probably ever, but hey, uh, I hope you liked it. Maybe you learned some. If not, oh well. See you on the next video, guys. Thanks for watching.